Hello? Are y'all still up? Is anybody still up? Is anybody still out there? Anybody here? Okay. I'll wait. So, this had to have been, if you still love, the longest fucking State of the Union address I have ever seen in my motherfucking life, bitch. I had to get up and fucking wipe slobber off my mouth because I fell asleep. Okay? Um, comedy. Hilarity. Drama. Intrigue. I ain't staying up too long, bitch, because I got to get up early. As do the most of you. But when I tell you, I have not chuckled so hard. First off, this is the first one of, I mean, it's not the first State of the Union address I've ever watched. But, like, I had to question myself tonight. Like, am I watching this shit? Because I really want to know something. Or am I watching this shit to laugh? Because I just kept laughing the whole fucking time. Nancy Pelosi. Number one. This was Mean City. Like it's so many fucking memes bitch. And the line of the night. There cannot be no peace. And legislation. With war and investigations bitch. Donald is channeling. Every Kojic, holiness, Baptist preacher ever in life. If you have ever been to a holiness church, a Baptist church, this is a glimpse at what it is like to sit through the world's longest sermon. And every side eye in the congregation is watching upon you, bitch. Shoot me in the face on live TV because I'm never sitting through that again. Okay, now, let's look at these optics. Nancy, she fought a good fight. This bitch tried to give game face, but shit started to go south. He started off, it was cute. I'm like, all right, but we already know how these things go. It started off, it was cute. First shot at Obama, I'm like, oh, shit. Here we go. Kamala, Kamala looked like she was ready to just fucking just die. AOC, Alexandra Cortez, Ocasio Cortez, you know, this bitch. One thing I got to give her, she's consistent. One thing I got to give AOC, she is consistent. This bitch ain't clap for shit. Even when she stood up when they were shot her, she ain't clap for shit. Oh, my skin looks good right here. She didn't clap for shit. Okay, and she looked angry the whole time. One thing that she needs to work on is probably her poker face. Because, see, the one thing with her is you can tell what she's thinking all the time. And while I do like that transparency, is something in my head? Oh, that's lint. While I do like her transparency and it's refreshing, when you're meeting with world leaders, sis, I'm going to need you to have a better game face than that. That's all I'm saying. Like, if I can watch national television and pretty much tell what the fuck you thinking, bitch. Because I know you got ambitions beyond being a congresswoman, sis. You do too much TV and Twitter for me to think otherwise. You're going to have to get better at that game face. Now, I got to give it to Nancy Pelosi. She said the House will be in order. And the Democrats was in order. That bitch gave her best black mother before you go into the supermarket. She told them bitches, look, don't touch nothing. Don't ask for nothing. If you ain't got no money to buy it, bitch. That's pretty much what Nancy was given prior to the State of the Union address. When she walked past that report and said the house would be in order, she wasn't motherfucking lying. Because it wasn't a hair out of place. Okay. I got to give her our props, okay? Now, she looked at them saying three white papers for like 10, 15 minutes. I'm like, sis, you've been looking at these papers. Ain't nobody resume that goddamn long, sis, that you looking at these goddamn papers, okay? Um, I think Mike Pence scares me. 
Like, he scares me. Like, to see him not have any type of real facial deviation for I, I, that was a pretty long speech, bitch. Like, everybody started to crack after a while. Even the military people a little bit. Like, bitch, his face, I'm convinced he's a fembot. Mike Pence is not a human being. He's an android. I'm convinced. Mike Pence is an android that was commissioned by the Trump campaign to be seen and not heard, bitch. Something's wrong with him, okay? It's no way in the hell you can sit through an hour and a half speech of that shit. Then, let's look at the optics. So, I notice how, and this is just my personal fucking opinion, okay? How, and I might lose some people here. In his policies and in the, when he asks people to stand up, the white people are painted as heroes, war veterans, heroes, and victims in regards to uh, people being killed by illegal immigrants or aliens. The black people, we just so happy. We got jobs. We's paid and employed now. Employment is we pay. Thank you. Thank you, Master Trump, for getting the black bitch out of jail. Thank you for getting all the black people who went to jail for bullshit out of jail. Now she's a passer. She is leading all the black bitches in jail. And they all gonna get out. And thank you so much, Master. The fucking Hispanic people. Number one, you pull a Hispanic ICE agent, bitch. Out of all of the ICE agents. And then you don't pick just multiple ICE agents, bitch. You pick, you pick one Hispanic fucking ICE agent whose hair is shutting just like yours. Okay. Number one is a Hispanic person. And I'm not grouping all people of Latin descent or, 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 or Hispanic. You know, I, I want to be, you know, I want to be respectful here. I'm not grouping everybody together. But I don't see how... You can, Ted Cruz, another one. Your state is Texas. With these walls, don't you know that they can enact eminent domain to build some of these walls? How are you going to explain that to some of the farmers, okay, whose land could possibly get taken by this wall, okay? How can you explain that? How, as... A person of Hispanic or Latin descent, can you come to a State of the Union address for a president who has declared pretty much your ethnicity public enemy number one for the sake of a presidential campaign win and wave and smile and shit? Like, I don't understand that. I don't get it. Like, do they got something on you? Did they say, bitch, you're going to be fired? Like, how can you attend something like that and support it when you have, you know, kids being split up and, and put in bad conditions? How can you support that? I'm confused. And then, of course, you got the victims of the people that got Killed by illegal immigrants. Now, I'm not saying that shit's not fucked up. Because it is. But the likelihood of me getting killed by an illegal immigrant or alien versus somebody who's from the United States. Those chances, the likelihood is I'm probably going to get built, killed by a bitch that's from America before I get killed by a bitch that, that came from Colombia. That's just a fucking fact. I don't have the exact statistics on that, but the reality is nine times out of ten, I'm going to get shot by Tyrone before I get shot by Esquilita, bitch. And that's just a fucking fact. I don't understand that. How can you support this? I don't get it. But anyway, moving on. So, for those of you wondering why the lady's head on the white. So, this is like, you know, as he did, the one thing he did point out was he gave all of the new Congress women a shout out for being elected. Um, women were given the right to vote. The suffragette movement, that's when they wear all white, symbolizing that they want their right to vote and things like that. That's what that was all about. The all of the white shit. 
So just for y'all to know. But sidebar, all the bitches in the white was not here for the shits. They ain't clap for shit. They ain't hurrah the shit. They ain't even look at shit. One motherfucker was on her phone. Like, I, I mean, I, I was confused, okay? Then your policies, like, I could be wrong, but we, we've been kind of keeping up with this shit. Now you care about people with AIDS and child cancer. I'm like, bitch, I ain't heard half this shit come out your mouth before the night. Like, when did we talk about kids with cancer, bitch? I'm confused. All right? Like, what? now you care about people with AIDS. Now you're worried about pharmacy prices going down. Which one of your friends pissed you off? Now you don't want to give them the pharmacy coin, bitch. And then the Homeland Security Secretary, she kind of scared me in the front. The Asian lady, she kind of scared me because she ain't had no facial. All these people don't have, they all look plastic like androids or something. It was just was crazy to me. The military generals, I learned, because I learned something new every day, that they can't show expression or clap or anything on any of these policies. But clearly, they were not happy campers on a lot of these foreign policies and things like that that he was talking about. It was a lot of shit to cover. If you're looking for exact detailed transcript of some of the issues he covered, it wasn't a lot. A lot of it started to delve into, I want my wall money. A lot of it started to delve into, I need to start campaigning for the 2020 election. Okay? Um, that's what a lot of it was, for the most part. Um, I was very annoyed seeing, you know, the, what is his name? Oh my God, I'm tired. His name is Casey. The guy, the Kavanaugh, and his fucking robe, bitch. He's another, he's a shining example of white privilege. The Supreme Court justices come in, they looking, they can't show emotion, but clearly they're uncomfortable. Ruth said, fuck it, bitch. I'm tired, I'm sick, and I'm old. I'm not coming to this bullshit, okay? I don't think, um, I don't think that they were very happy, but Kavanaugh, just like, to touch on that, it just, for some reason with him, I get mad every time I see him on television. Is it just me? Like, I seriously get, like, he causes me distress when I see Kavanaugh on TV. Okay? Kamala, once again, was trying to keep it together. Um, and, and, and just focus. Cory Booker was Cory Booker. Um, overall, I think... It was, it was a terrible speech, guys. I'm trying to find a silver lining for it, but it, it wasn't good. And it was too long. Like, it, you didn't need an hour and a half to, to, to say what you said. Then you call it, you're doing all these shout outs, you know what I'm saying? Like, all of these testimonials and shit of people that you done helped. You know, it just, it just was, it was, it was too much. Now, after that, Stacey Abrams comes and does her rebuttal. Sidebar, I love Stacey, a Stacey Abrams, but she sound like um, Mindy Cohen off of Facts of Life for all you old bitches. For some of you young young people, you may not know that. You know, I'm young too. But for you old bitches or young bitches that like old shows, she sound like the girl off Facts of Life, Mindy Cohen. Her voice is like, and I just want you to say that I ran for the governor of Georgia and we will not stand for this. And... It always tickles me whenever I hear Stacey Abrams talk. Love the lady to death. She's made history. Love her to death. But every time I hear her talk, it just makes me fucking chuckle because you got this big-ass woman and this Nell Carter-ass voice, and it just, like, totally throws it. That's what she remind me of, Nell Carter. Oh, my God. I was trying to figure it out. She's Nell Carter. Shout out to Stacey Abrams. That's besides the point. I'm getting off, off task here. But anyway, Stacey Abrams finally shows up, and, like, I'm like, bitch, you got the Def Comedy Jam. Russell Simmons, thank y'all for coming out this shit. Because by this time, it's almost 11 o'clock, sis. No shade. I'm all about it. I'm up now with y'all. But I ain't trying to um, sit in and in, 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 my eyes glazing. You know, I'm slobbering on the pillow. And I just got new sheets, bitch. Okay? But her butt was basically... 
everything that we already know that the Democratic Party stands for, it wasn't really a surprise um, for me. Um, she said everything that I thought she would say. Okay. Um, so that that's the, that's the thing. Like I want to sit in here, and I'm gonna be honest. With you, you know, I never lie to y'all. If you if you like it, you don't. But I want to sit here and say the speech was this big read, but it was like a read we've heard before. It's like doing a death drop on RuPaul's Drag Race. Like that's not original anymore. Everybody's doing splits when they lip sync for their life, bitch. That's not new. Um, but. It needed to be said. I'm glad that we did not hear from Bernie Sanders. And I want y'all to be clear. No shade to Bernie. He is definitely, the more I think about it, he is still Ross Perot to me. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. He's the Ross Perot of this decade. But um, I'm glad he didn't do any type of other rebuttals and he just shut the hell up. But I think Stacey did a great job um, addressing the nation. I think this was a good alley-oop for her. To dip her foot in the national pool either even further, I think it was a great look. It was a definitely great look. She did not disappoint. She did a great job. She just sounds like Mel Carter. That's my only thing, and I know that's fucking Patty. I know that's Patty. I know that that is Patty. But I'm just saying, it just didn't escape me. Um, overall, um, could have had a V8, but it was funny. The memes like that will come from this. Like, the facial expressions, like, we have reached a point, and this is where, you know, I always get serious and I keep it 100. We have reached a point where the government is never going to be the same in America. It's never going to be the same. The decorum, being proper, protocol, that's out the window for us. I think Donald Trump ruined that and threw that away in two years. Um, it's just never going to be the same. I think that at this point, um, we're at a place in America where there's going to be some decisions that are going to have to be made. Um, there's some rules that are going to have to be rewritten and there's some protocol that's going to have to be revisited because the people are just not having it. Um, even the government, the government looks different now. Seeing all of those women, seeing my girl, my Somali girl with a motherfucking head wrap on and shit, fucking it up, head on her red, white, and blue, killing it. I'm like, Nike, y'all need to sponsor her. Ralph Lauren, all of y'all, get it together. Um, it's just different. And what is interesting is to see, in contrast, all of those newly elected congresswomen and to see, it was like watching, like, the channel change on an old television set. You know, the old TVs where you got to turn a knob and it gets staticky before you get to the next channel? That's what it looked like tonight. Because you got this new blood and this new energy, this new look of diversity. But then on this the, the right side, you had this consistent look of the good old boys club. And how locked in they are. You're seeing a demographic hold on or try to fight and tooth and nail to hold on to something that they think that people are trying to take away from them. Like, it's not about taking away who you are. It's about making a way for my existence. And I think that's the point that a lot of these right-wing, alt-right people... I'm missing. Like, sis, we don't... The thing is, we don't give a fuck what you do. Just don't fuck up my shit and let me get my life. That's all I'm saying. Can I exist too? Can I come to the table and have something to say? That's really what it's all about. Okay? Um, That's really what it's all about. And... I think, yes, Candace. Shout out to Candace Taylor. She said it perfectly. It was a room full of people playing chess. That's facts. That's facts. It was a room full of people playing chess. Shout out to Candace. You hit that on the head, sis. Um, Ted Cruz is a fucking clown. 
I got it going record. He's a fucking clown. And he's getting fat, bitch. You lost weight for that presidential campaign. And I'm not shaming fat people. I'm fucking fat. But he's fucking fat. You can tell when the girls lose their campaigns down. He fat. He growing a beard to hide that double fucking chin. Don't ask me how I know, bitch, because I got one too. You how you grew that beard because you get fat, bitch. And we can see that double chin. And you lost. Now you standing up clapping for all of this dumb ass shit. I still don't understand how the fuck you won. Okay? At the end of the day. But, with that being said, um, I could go on and on about tonight, but the reality is, I have a laundry list of things to do, and I have to get up in the morning, and so do you, bitch. Because you know your ass done called out already twice this year, and you was late last week. So your ass needs to go to bed. So you don't get rid the fuck up. Y'all have a good evening. As always, it's a pleasure. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at G-O-D-D-M. Look out for my EP. It's coming in April, Beautiful Gowns. Remember, I rap too, bitch. That's what I started doing. In the meantime, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube, Secretary of Shade, Google search it. You know, we're doing good. We're at over 11,000 subscribers now for these videos. Who fucking knew? Website coming soon. Shout out to Visioneer. Y'all have a good night and be blessed.